Hi, my name is Stefan McGuire, and I'm the associate producer on the film The Eleventh Hour. We're developing this campaign around the film, an action campaign, on how we can better improve our ecological footprint in our communities. Well, one thing we notice as creators of the film is often we go to lunch and we do takeout and we come back to the office and we eat our lunch and all those throwaway containers. And yes, some of it is recyclable, but um, can, we, can we improve the situation? Fortunately, there's a raw restaurant, an organic vegan raw restaurant around the corner. And so we can ask them, where do they get their containers from? Who is the vendor that supplies the uh, biodegradable containers? It's from a company called Nature's Plastic, but we get it from Cater Greens. Regular restaurants do use plastic and styrofoam, and that stuff lasts basically forever. It's what we're going to be finding thousands of years from now. This you won't find again. It's going to turn back into soil. Uh, all of our utensils here are made out of corn, 100% biodegradable corn. And that goes for everything from uh, uh, the plates to the takeout containers to the cups to the lids to the forks and the spoons, everything. These are actually made from recycled, um, recycled paper, so there's absolutely no waste in the restaurant. So obviously a great idea um, to have other restaurants do this. Why are all restaurants using this kind of material in their takeaway containers? Our biggest dilemma with uh, the recyclable and green products is cost. Economically, it's not a benefit to us at all. Try to absorb that cost without raising your prices, it's just not possible. You know, and they explain to somebody who really doesn't care if it's green or not that you, you raised your prices 50 cents because you're being a little more eco ecologically minded. And uh, that's, that's what we choose to do is to go as green as we can, but in some instances we're pinched because of manufacturing. The thing goes, anything that comes out originally is expensive, and so these are only going to go down in price the more people actually purchase them and make them available for, for others. It's a disposable world, and you know I shouldn't. I shouldn't even say world because we're we don't we don't catch it here. Nation. Nation. Yeah. Thank you. Us being the richest country in the world, you know everything's everything's dispensable, and that's why we're so far behind in our thinking of that. While I mean a lot of people would really like to use them, we're hearing that they're expensive. Well, there's a lot of different types of containers. Like none of them are across the board expensive. For example, these are the sugar cane, the bagasse the containers, and they're actually meant to replace styrofoam containers. And these specifically, I think, the sugar cane ones probably are almost identical in price, actually. We'll find out how much each item costs and we'll bring them to the other restaurants. To be continued.